What is the best cheap 30 by 30 flight controller that runs beta flight? Oops, wrong window. Uh, is it, it's gotta be the Speedy B F405, right? The Speedy B F405, the only real big weakness that it has in my, in my opinion, is that when you put an SD card into the SD card slot, the OSD stops working. That's so stupid. I wish, I don't know if that's a hardware thing or if they should fix it, but um, so basically you don't have black box or if you have black box, then you don't have an OSD. So that sucks, but still the price is so freaking good. You want to know what else? I want to know what else there is. Um, Steve tricks that Velox F411. I used to, I, I thought about recommending this a while back. And I got a lot of feedback that there were quality control issues with it. Now, I obviously can't verify that. Um, like, for example, does Race Day Quad sell it? I know that Tyler doesn't sell stuff if he gets too many returns. I, I don't know about, I mean, I can't say anything about Pyrodrone. I don't, Search doesn't really talk to me very much. Does, does Race Day Quad sell it? So they sell it. Only five in stock, though. I don't know. I got feedback that people had, like, gyro issues with this. But Stevatrix says he uses it, uses it and hasn't had a problem, except for the perforated 30-millimeter tabs breaking off. Um, so maybe that's a good one. At a price of $37, it's certainly uh, going to be appealing to a lot of people. Um... Um, what is the new, what's that new, uh, cheap flight control software? The new, is it the AT? Yeah, the ATF4. So iFlight has a new flight controller, the ATF4. It's got the AT chip in it instead of the STM chip in it. It's this new cheaper chip that is supported by, uh, Betaflight. 60 bucks for the ESC and... With a flight controller. Hello. It's going to give you... A, you're going to need new drivers and you're going to have trouble flashing it. And you're going to need a new version of Betaflight called AT Betaflight. However... You can, yeah, Lenti, go ahead. You can also just use 4.5. Well, oh, Betaflight 4.5 has full support. But yeah. Betaflight 4.5 isn't released yet. Yeah, you have to use the nightly or whatever. But yes, a lot of I know a lot of people have been running it for a long time for their ATE boards. Yeah, okay. Okay. So that's uh that's pretty damn compelling. 60 bucks. Wow, it's almost like it's you know 2019 again. When that when that was just normal. Do they have that board split out at all just to see cost? Mm, interesting. It doesn't appear that they do. Just the stack. Yeah, just the stack, apparently. This is nice because there have there was another uh, Na Nano RC, I think. I can't remember the name of the company. Do you remember the Neutron RC? That's it. Neutron RC was making a flight controller with the ATF-435. And I was like, I don't know about this Neutron RC company. Who are they? But when iFlight releases it, well, I mean, they're known quantity. So, it's interesting. Best cheap flight controller 30 by 30. There's your answer. <laughs> Why does Beta FPV have stupid battery connectors? I assume you're talking about the BT 2.0 connectors and they're not stupid, they're superior. They're the best. Switch all your batteries to BT 2.0 or A30. Um... Neo says, I was given a TBS Tango Pro controller with Crossfire. I can get the controller to bind and fly, but when the controller binds to the quad, the controller beeps. When the drone is not connected to the controller, the controller stops beeping. What am I missing? Uh, the, uh, the first thing I would do is I would create a new model if you haven't. A new blank model 
My first thought is that there is something set up in the in the controller that makes it beep when like I'm guessing it has to do with you getting telemetry from the flight controller and something about that telemetry is making the control making the controller beep. Uh so make a brand new fresh model with no programming and bind it and see if it starts beeping. And if not, then set that model up from scratch. And you're good to go. Black Jungle. Black Jungle's on a tear tonight. <laughs> That's good. That's good. How long is too long for the wires on a cap, on a capacitor? Steve Atrix, the longer the wire, the less effective the cap. There is no uh, hard limit. It's completely progressive. The longer the wires, the thinner the wires, the worse the cap works. So keep them as short as you can. It's going to do something, no matter what, but it may not do enough. Gregan Tadavosian asks if I can buy either an ammo box or a bat safe for battery charging and storage, which one would be the better choice? Uh, the bat safe is going to do better at containing and filtering smoke. Should you have an, ex should you have something and, uh, the, it's going to do a better job containing the heat. Uh, an ammo box is good enough if it's on a non flammable surface. And if you can tolerate the smoke coming out, um, Ammo box is also going to have a lot more room in it compared to a bat safe mini, which is not that big. And it's going to be cheaper. Um, bat safe mini is pretty much good for like storing slash charging, just like, you know, one or two batteries. Confessor, thank you for a $10 super chat. Nano baby walk snail that broke during your review was faulty wiring from walk snail. Wires not tin, strands broke on five volt, hidden under liquid tape. Whoa! So, uh, background to this story. I flew the nano baby uh, 1.6 in the review. I crashed the walk snail one and the walk snail VTX stopped working. I inspected it, not in a great amount of detail, but I inspected it, didn't see why it wasn't working. They sent me two of them. So I was just like, fine. And I skipped to the second one and got on with the video. Later, I sold them. I, I sometimes sell quads that like I'm not going to keep because I, I can't possibly keep. And I don't I don't like to have stuff just sitting on a shelf, not being used. And then like two years later, it's it's obsolete and nobody wants it. And I just, it's just, I like to, you know, if I have a quad and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to fly that. And then like three months later, I still haven't flown it. Instead of going, oh yeah, I really got to fly that. I'm just like, okay, nope, get rid of it. So um, I sold these quads, some of these quads uh, on my, on my Patreon uh, Discord, on my Discord and Confessor bought it. And uh, apparently... It was broken underneath the liquid electrical tape, and that's why it stopped. So you got two. Two for the price of one. Very nice. Well, uh, enjoy. Enjoy it. Um, how do others join your Discord to get great deals like this? Uh, there's a link in the video description to where you can join the Discord. And one of the benefits you get is sometimes I will go on the Discord and sell a bunch of shit. And I always, like... I really feel self-conscious that someone would buy something from me and then like maybe it would be broken or something and then they'd be like, you fucking Bardwell sold me some broken shit, took my money. And so like, like I obviously, if you like reach out to me and be like, hey, this shit was broken, I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll make it right. But um, I, I, I also, I just, I, I feel really bad and don't want anybody to feel bad about the transaction. So I always sell the stuff at like a ridiculously low price. Um. And, uh, you know, if that's what it takes to get you to join my Discord, be my guest. 